G'day everybody, Greg here, Aussie in Thailand from downtown Penrith. Um, today I want to talk to you about a few things, probably a few of you are probably wondering why um, all of a sudden I'm up and leaving. Um, yeah, and uh, a few of you are probably thinking that I, you know, because of my girlfriend in Thailand and stuff like that, well, it's got nothing to do with that actually. Me and my girlfriend split up some time back with COVID, so it's really got nothing to do with that. Um, Back in September, I um, had a bit of a uh, mishap. I thought I'd had a heart attack and got rushed to a hospital in all kinds of trouble. And um, it turned out it wasn't a heart attack, it was probably brought on by stress. And um, it's, yeah, it sort of made me reassess my life and um, what my life's about. And then I sort of started thinking about things and I thought, well, look, I'm absolutely going nowhere here. I'm gonna work till I'm in my late 60s. Um, you know, retire, and then all of a sudden, you know, like I've got what 10 years to live, and I'm probably going to drop dead. So I thought, well, no, nah, I don't want to do that. So, you know, I decided, well, no, nah, I'm going to, I'm going to make the make the move, make a change, going to work for myself, and going to um, do what I love. I've got two real passions in my life. One's motorcycle riding, and um, hanging out with my mates, and um, just enjoying life like that. You can't do all of that all the time, you have to work. And the other one is um, being in Thailand. And um, yeah, I've been lucky enough to go to Thailand probably 10 times now and loved it every single time. So um, I've decided to, you know, do an online business and um, also do a blog, a daily blog where I travel around places and um, film and, and um, tell the people back home about Thailand and what it's about and um, you know how you can live in Thailand what you can do in Thailand what you can eat in Thailand how much it costs to live in Thailand and all the different stuff and I'm going to do that on a daily basis so I'll still be in your faces all the time probably more so than ever because I'll be making videos every day um, but I hope to see my days out in Thailand rather than yeah coming home with my tail between my legs in you know six months 12 months, two years, whatever. I don't think that will happen, but who knows? Um, I might decide I don't like it as much as I thought, but I can't see that happening. I love the place and um, I can't wait to do it. So it's a real new start for me. I'm getting pretty excited. I was pretty nervous about uh, just up and leaving and going somewhere, not knowing really anybody. Um, but you know what? I'm fine with that. Um, I can do it and I'm gonna do it. So, um, yeah that's my story so if anyone's interested and as for the rest i'll be doing videos probably every couple of days of the processes of what i'm um got to go through to get out of here um i'm in a rental place so when i split up with my ex missus back in 2009 i rented this place because of my business it was convenient and i just never moved so i've been here ever since um i wasn't going to go to thailand for about six months but this place is on the market and um, it's probably going to be sold and um, I'll probably have to be out within a, you know, a matter of you know, six, eight weeks, something like that. So what I'm going to try and do is just going to try and time that and um, make it work and just go straight to Thailand from here. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. So I've got a lot of stuff to do, a lot of stuff to pack up, a lot of stuff to get rid of. Um, yeah, try and fit your, your whole life in a couple of suitcases and then travel, you know, a third of the way around the world. It's not that easy, so and that's what I'm going to attempt to do. So um, I think um, I've got a ride in a couple of weeks and it'll probably be my last big adventure and then I'll sell my bike. Uh, one of our guys in our group that rides, he's uh, pretty keen on my bike, so he'll probably buy that. And I'll just be selling stuff along the way and... Um, yeah, and as soon as I can do it, I'll do it. Anyway, thanks for listening. Um, I'm going to put up some videos and I'll steal some clips and stuff off um, YouTube and show you some interesting stuff, some of the stuff I hope to do, so you just don't have to hear me waffling on. Um, but as well as me waffling on, when I'm in Thailand, you'll have something to look at. And, um, you know, sometimes I'll be talking and see my, my big buffet in, on the camera. Other times, you know... I'll do walks and just show you around the place. I'll have a drone, we'll get some great drone footage. I've got some, some pretty good cameras that do some pretty interesting stuff. So it, it should be very entertaining. And um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to bringing some pretty good content. 
Um, yeah, that's about it for me for now. So thank you for listening, and um, I hope you follow my channel. And I just remember, if if you um, do, if you are interested, subscribe to my channel, give it the thumbs up, and click the bell icon, and that'll give you notifications when I do videos, and um, that'll help me out big time because the more people that do that the quicker I'll um, start earning a bit of money, they'll post some ads on my channel and I'll get paid for doing what I, I do and um, the channel will only get bigger and better. I've got some merchandise also, I'm designing some more at the moment, I've got a couple of bits and pieces but I won't put them up now but um, hoping to get a bit of a name as a blogger over there and um, Aussie in Thailand, don't forget me, thanks for watching.